Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Telelumiere TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis, the war on Ukraine is a disgrace to all humanity. Festive masses in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine on the occasion of the Feast of the Annunciation and the request for peace in Ukraine. We also have the Royal Institute for Religious Studies receives a delegation of interfaith dialogue from the Archdiocese of Munich. Welcome back. While receiving members of the Italian Association of Transponders, His Holiness Pope Francis described the war in Ukraine as a disgrace to all humanity and said, We pray to God that this war, which is a disgrace to all of us and all humanity, ends as soon as possible. And added, it is unacceptable every day we witness there is more death, displacement and destruction. Pope Francis praised the service provided by the members of the League to those fleeing Ukraine because of the war. In union with the call of His Holiness Pope Francis to pray for world peace and on the occasion of the Annunciation Day, His Beatitude Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, presided over a festive Mass in the Latin Basilica of Annunciation in the city of Nazareth in Palestine, with the participation of a number of bishops, priests, the presence of monks, and a large gathering of monks and parishioners. His Beatitude addressed a speech on this occasion in which he said, Let us pray for these peoples and for the mothers, children, and the elderly, who have become lonely at the mercy of senseless violence. At the end of the Mass, the participants from clergy and believers joined in Pope Francis's call to consecrate the peoples of Russia and Ukraine to the heart of Mary the Pure. Uh, we are uh, at the end of this celebration, this is important, at the end of this celebration, we will join the Holy Father, Pope Francis, in order to consecrate the Immaculate, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the people of Russia and Ukraine. Two peoples, two brothers are at war with each other. One, one attacks, the other one is attacked, one is big, one is small, but both brothers. Both experience prof profound human tragedies and leave behind them enormous material and spiritual rubble. Here in Holy Land, we know what war is. We feel how the war enters people's hearts and becomes a way of thinking, creates deep divisions and frustration, erects physical and human walls, destroys prospects for trust, vision, and peace. Precisely because of this, because we know what it all means, because we have experienced it on our skin, we we'll pray for those peoples, for their rulers, and above all, for the little ones of the gospel, the mothers, the children, the elderly, left homeless left at the, uh, at the mercy of incomprehensible violence and without clear perspectives for their future. May the Virgin of Nazareth, the, who became the mother of Jesus in this place, intercede for them and for all those in the world are suffering this same situation. And in response to His Holiness's call for peace in Ukraine and to celebrate the Annunciation Day, the Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jordan, the appointed Metropolitan Jamal Khadr, presided over a divine liturgy in the Church of the Virgin of Nazareth in Swafiyeh, with the assistance of the parish priest Father Antoni Hremat and the participation of the Chargé d'Affaires of the Papal Embassy in Jordan, Monsignor Mauro Lelli, a few priests, nuns and a group of believers. The Mass was also attended by diplomatic personalities, ambassadors and representatives of several countries. Bishop Khadr said in his homily, Today we raise a prayer in union with His Holiness Pope Francis, who called the whole Church to unite with him for peace in Ukraine and Russia, and for the consecration of this country to the heart of Mary the Mother, who is grieved by the war between her children. On the occasion of the Annunciation Feast and for the sake of peace in Russia and Ukraine, His Beatitude Patriarch Rafael Sacco presided over a Mass in the Church of Al Sultana of the Rosary in Baghdad, and everyone prayed to the Lord to end the war and achieve peace and security between the two countries. Several metropolitans, priests, nuns, and a group of believers participated in the Mass. His Beatitude said in his speech, Wars have devastating effects of killing, wounding, destruction, displacement, poverty, and disease. He concluded by saying, We are in the time of great Lent to review ourselves and renew our resolve for peace, love, and goodness. His Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus III, Patriarch of Jerusalem and all the works of Palestine and Jordan, said, The battle to preserve the sanctities and real estate waged by the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem is an existential battle aimed at securing the authentic Christian presence in Jerusalem and all the Holy Lands. 
This came during a meeting organized by the Patriarchate and attended by heads of churches in Jerusalem, diplomats and representatives of civil society institutions, where his beatitude briefed the audience on the latest developments regarding the battle to defend Babel Khalil real estate and the importance of these properties, which are the historical corridor of the Christian neighborhood, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and the main monasteries in Jerusalem. In turn, the Secretary General of the Christian Islamic Organization for the Support of Jerusalem and the sanctuaries stressed the need for solidarity to protect church properties and the Christian presence in the city of Jerusalem. The Royal Institute for Religious Studies received a delegation from the Department of Interfaith Dialogue in the Diocese of Munich and the Protestant Academy of the Lutheran Church in Germany. The meeting included an explanation of the Institute's history, mission and programs, followed by two sessions. The first is about Eastern Christianity in Jordan and the region, presented by Dr. René Hattar, director of the Institute. The second is about religious dialogue and Islamic Christian relations in Jordan, presented by His Excellency Bishop appointed Jamal Khadr, Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jordan and Dr. Amir Al-Hayfi academic advisor to the Institute and Professor of Comparative Religions at Al Bayt University. The guests interacted with the speaker in a deep dialogue and various questions about the topics of the meeting. A group of scouts and guides of the Latin Monastery in the Church of the Virgin Mother of the Church in North Marca celebrated the renewal of the scout promise of the group during the Divine Liturgy headed by Father Khalil Ja'ar, patron of the Church, and Father Ibrahim Nafa, general guide of Latin scouts in Jordan participated in the Mass. In the presence of the nuns, a number of leaders of Latin and Orthodox scout groups, the youth group, the fraternity, the advisory committee in the monastery of the church and a large crowd of participants in the activities of the parish and its sons. In the Sermon of the Mass, Father Jahar called the scouts to love their church and consolidate the spirit of virtues of their Christian affiliation and faith in God and the human spirit. An open bazaar was held in Amman in cooperation with the United Nations program and the Italian Habibi Foundation under the patronage of the Italian ambassador in Jordan Monsignor Mauro Lelli, Chargé d'Affaires of the Papal Embassy in Jordan, and Father Mario, and in the presence of a number of trainees participating. The bazaar included offers of handmade products made by the trainees, like traditional, textile, vegetarian, and ornamental industries, and models that mimic the local nature. We implemented the project in collaboration with UNDP Jordan, a project supported by Italian Embassy through the Italian uh, Cooperation, AX, that uh, allow 200 uh, uh, beneficiaries, 100 uh, from uh, the most vulnerable Jordanian communities and 100 from the Iraqi refugees community. And uh, we give opportunity to these beneficiaries to, uh, to learn uh, a job. The project was uh, uh, three months uh, training and another three months on the job. So this gives opportunities uh, uh, for this youth uh, to, to start to learn a, a job. Uh, we implement uh, the 11 uh, vocational training, uh, like uh, agriculture, uh, fashion, uh, leather, uh, solar system, uh, uh, hairdresser, and uh, barber and uh, just to, to, to give opportunity to these people uh, to also to, to receive a small, small money to, and maybe to, to make uh, their job in the, in the future. The final uh, event uh, was an open day bazaar where uh, the beneficiaries had uh, the opportunity to, to show to our friends and to the donor also their, uh, their products. Uh, so it was a really uh, wonderful event. Uh, we have the presence of the ambassador of Italia, Sua Eccellenza Luciano Pezzotti, ambassador of uh, Vaticano, Monsignor Mauro Lalli, uh, director of UNDP, uh, Miss Randa and other friends from UNDP, and all our also partner uh, because we, we made this project with some partners. So this was really a great event uh, and very successfully. And uh, really it was uh, maybe the, the beginning of a future collaboration uh, with this uh, uh, 
uh, organization and this is for the good of uh, our vulnerable people, uh, our Jordan and also refugees, uh, vulnerable people. St. Sherbel Church in Amman held a charity exhibition with the advent of the spring season. Its proceeds were allocated to the poor and needy. The exhibition, which was inaugurated by Father Shusef Suwaid, pastor of the church, included products prepared and designed by the local community's women, containing popular foods, clothes, embroideries and handicrafts. The opening ceremony was attended by several visitors and invitees and a crowd of parishioners. Mrs. Haifa Najjar, Minister of Culture, sponsored the conference of the Jordanian Writers' Union on the occasion of the memory of the eternal battle of dignity. In her speech, Minister Najjar emphasized that we have the right to be proud of this battle and its heroes, those who achieved victory and glory for Jordan and all Arabs. Many patriotic words and poems were recited during the celebration that sang about the battle and its heroes. In conclusion, the Minister of Culture honored the families of the martyrs of the Battle of Dignity and the heroes participating in it. Mr. Bassam Al Khalayle, director of Al Hussein Youth City, sponsored a ceremony honoring the scouting and guiding groups, which was held at the Cultural Palace in Al Hussein Youth City, in commemoration of the first anniversary of the passing of the late former head of the sector, Mundar Zamili. The celebration included honoring and awarding three of the first pioneers in the civil scouting work, in addition to honoring the scout groups participating in the excellence competition. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis, the war on Ukraine is a disgrace to all humanity. Festive Masses in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine on the occasion of the Feast of the Annunciation and the Request for Peace in Ukraine. We also have the Royal Institute for Religious Studies receives a delegation of interfaith dialogue from the Archdiocese of Munich. For more information, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.